I'm uh, Major Michael Cabotacasa. I'm an instructor pilot in the KC-10 at McGuire Air Force Base, New Jersey. The KC-10 can carry approximately 340,000 pounds, which equates to about 50,000 gallons of fuel. And we're able to use that interchangeably between us and any receiver aircraft that we're refueling. Our mission in Iraq and Afghanistan is to be able to uh, provide um, uh, fuel to all the different coalition and NATO aircraft that are operating over the skies of Iraq and Afghanistan. As pilots up front, you know, we're trying to provide a very stable platform and be as uh, stable as possible for the receiver airplane uh, for when he's coming up and getting his gas. So we're going to fly a very precise airspeed at a very precise altitude um, and be able to provide that, that stability. Tech Sergeant Angel Gomez, Air Force Base, uh, in-flight refuel on the KC-10. It takes uh, a little bit getting used to, you know, seeing two aircraft come together in the, in the air like that. Once the receiver gets within about 10 feet, you know, we use the uh, air refueling boom to put it in their receptacle. You know, it's like, you know, trying to stick the end of two brooms, you know, to a hole in the wall at the other side of the room. I mean, it gets challenging. Like I said, it's a big video game. You, we go through enough training and everything in simulators that... You know, it becomes second nature. You know, you have a, a hand on each control. You're trying to work your hands independently, communicate with the receiver, communicate with your crew and the pilots and, you know, other receivers. You know, we're basically running the scene back there, making sure everybody gets their fuel and safely, quickly, gets their mission done. So once they get within 10 feet, refuel them. should only take about two minutes to give them their fuel, punch them off. You know, they'll head out to the other wing. Next receiver will come in, about another two minutes, punch them off, and they'll be on their way. It'll, it'll commonly take an F-15 fighter or any Air Force fighter anywhere from two to five minutes for the refueling.